Hello everyone, my name is Olga and today we are going to one of the biggest, if not the biggest shopping malls of Antalya. It's called Mall of Antalya. So as you can see the mall is really big. It has a big parking area and there is a downstairs parking area too. There is an outlet section on the left you can see. And this is the main entrance where we will be going now. Let's go! At the entrance of the mall you gotta show your HES code. If you don't have it or don't know what it is, check out the link in the description. And here I am having coffee in Kavadun Yasin. It's a Turkish coffee shop. You can see the prices for some snacks. Uh, and I got myself a small latte and they give this uh, chocolate spoon for free. Right next to this coffee shop there is an exchange office where you can change your cash and the rate will be not as good as uh, the official rate. This is cotton, it's a Turkish clothing shop. So here the clothes are mostly very cheap and don't expect very high quality. But the designs are nice and modern and especially if you have children or for teenagers or for younger people, this is a good shop. You can find also a lot of basic clothes there, like sweaters and jeans. Now we are going to H&M, it is a European brand, so prices there will be more expensive than in the previous shop in cotton and right away you can see the prices are higher. But here when exchange rate changes, the prices rise right away. So for European standards, these clothes are low quality clothes and they are not very expensive. But here in Turkey, because the exchange rate changes so much, they can be a bit pricey by, by Turkish standards. In Antalya mall, just like in any other mall in Turkey, you can find a lot of jewelry shops. Unfortunately, you do not see the prices uh, on every item, but I've been quoted something like uh, around 100 US dollars for one gram of gold. And this is Marks & Spencer, it's a British brand, so prices here are quite higher than in the previous shops. 
as you can see even with a 50% discount it is still not cheap at all for Turkish standards. Uh, this is uh, ADL, Adilishik. It's a Turkish brand. Uh, it is quite an expensive brand. Here you can see the prices. For example, a bag like this is already a thousand lira. And a dress like this is also a thousand lira. They really like a price tag of a thousand lira for some reason. Now we are going to store that sells shoes. Here they are mostly low price. The price of these bags is low, but you cannot expect a high quality from a low-priced bag. So keep that in mind that it might serve you only one to three times. In this mall you can also find some small brand shops that sell classy clothes. Unfortunately I cannot go in there and film the prices because uh, right away when I come in a shopping assistant comes up and they don't really like if I film so unfortunately I cannot show you the prices. Another shop where uh, they do not display the prices, unfortunately. This is gratis, one of the shops that sells perfume, cosmetics, uh, personal hygiene items.
This is de facto another Turkish clothing shop. Clothes here are again very affordable. But what I do see in Turkish lira prices did go up compared to even a couple of months ago. So in euro and in dollars they are more or less same. But in Turkish lira I see an increase of about 50% at least. One more Turkish clothing shop. This one is a bit more pricier, but it does have uh, more quirky designs and more fashionable designs, so I do recommend checking it out. Now we are going to another Turkish clothing shop, it is called LCY Kiki. Clothes here again are very affordable. And in this shop you can find almost everything from baggage bags to shoes and accessories, all kinds of clothing. Prices are very affordable. And again, I do notice an increase in price in Turkish Lira. Something that would cost about 80 lira before, would now the price tag is more than 100, 130, 150. But in US dollars and in Euro the price did not go up.
In Antalya Mall, you can find a media market, a big shop where you can find all kinds of electronics. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film much there. The shopping assistants followed me and I could not film. But overall, I would say that if you need uh, electronics, it is better if you buy them in Europe or in US. Because in Turkey, there is a high price on those items and you will be paying much more for them. This is another shop that sells personal hygiene items and cosmetics. Uh, this shop is different from the previous one because it has more products from Germany. The prices, I must say, for those products are still quite affordable. And I did some shopping here, bought some shower gel and some other items. And the total bill for it was 163 lira. In Antalya Mall, uh, there are all kinds of sports brands like Adidas, Under Armour and others. The prices there will be more expensive than in Europe and America. All these clothes are imported and taxed. In this mall, there are not that many premium luxury brands, but they do have some, for example, Guess. There is a pharmacy and as far as I know, all medicine in Turkey is good quality and affordable price. This is another clothing shop where I got approached by a sales assistant almost right away and couldn't film much, but I did end up shopping there a little. So I bought these two items, these two dresses for 400 lira. This is another Turkish brand that is more on the premium side. And if you want a good suit, this shopping mall has them. The interior in this shopping mall is looking very nice and it has some recreational areas where you can sit and relax for a little bit. This is the outlet section of LC Waikiki. The prices here will be even lower.
This shopping mall has also a movie theater. A ticket, for example, for 6 p.m. for a Spider-Man is around 27 lira for a person. Next to it there is a children's playground area. This is the food court. It has all kinds of Turkish food and American food like McDonald's, Burger King. This kind of food is very popular in Turkey where they take some pasta and add chicken and salad on the side. The price is very affordable. This is Turkish pizza called pide. Also you can get it for around 20-25 lira. And this is the cafe where I ended up. It's one of my favorites. It's called Tabuk Dunyasi. Their most popular dish is uh, some pasta or macaroni with chicken and salad on the side. You can see they make all kinds of it. On that day I just chose a soup and a salad. And my bill was 65 Turkish lira. Here you can see there is a children's playground right underneath the food court. And the big grocery store 3M Migros. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.